Hi, I'm Mark Ayler for markayler.com and I'm going to take a look at how we can create export presets inside of Lightroom to fast track our imaging workflows. Just before I show you that export dialog, I just want to um, show you that I've actually cropped this image uh, to a 16-9 aspect ratio. These are one of the things that we want to consider before we export images, i.e. is it the same size and shape as the screen that will be viewing this image. Okay, so let's um, just commit that crop and we'll go over to the library module. Uh, we can get into the export dialog by clicking the export button here. And uh, now we have the export uh, dialog. We're going to start creating or crafting a preset. Now Lightroom doesn't ship uh, with very many useful presets. So if you're looking uh, uh, for a starting point, perhaps the uh, for email hard drive is as good as any to start with. Now let's just uh, work our way down. We're exporting to the hard drive. Uh, uh, you can choose a folder later. That means uh, that when we click the export button, it'll ask us to choose a folder. Or we could just override that now and choose desktop. OK, uh, we're coming down. I'll leave the file naming as is. I won't go into the video, but I will go into the file settings. Make sure that we have JPEG selected, sRGB as the color space. We'll raise the quality setting up to uh, 90. We'll come down to image sizing, hit resize to fit. Uh, choose the long edge and raise the pixels to 2048. This is the maximum resolution supported by Facebook. Now we don't need to enter anything into the resolution field because we're working in pixels and not um, preparing an image for uh, press or paper printing. I will uh, click the sharpen for screen option there uh, because when we're down sampling very high resolution uh, images, from our sophisticated cameras and mobile phones, they will soften up a little bit. So we're returning that sharpening using this option. Now, before I hit export, I do want to go and add my preset and I'll call it Facebook. Now we can just go into the user presets or you can create a new folder for all of the presets that are designed for one specific thing such as social media. Now I've already created a new folder called social media export presets and I'll hit create on there. Now you'll see that uh, in these social media export presets that I've already created, you can actually download these for free uh, from markgaylor.com website. Just go to the download section. Okay, so now if I hit um, export, uh, not only do we export that image uh, for um, social media, uh, there it is, it's uh, sitting on my desktop there, and I'll just uh, uh, collapse or close that window. Uh, if we're going on to uh, another image, uh, I don't even have to hit that export uh, option. We can, we can hit the export button and then just click uh, on the Facebook option and hit export again. Or alternatively, we can just uh, right click inside of our image, come down to the export options and then look for the option that I've just created. Uh, so there is my preset and I can just hit export and that will export very quickly. Okay, so I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com and if you've enjoyed the information, just be sure to subscribe and share.